excited to see what he's going to do. And we will, of course, we're going to pray for you now. And after we pray for you, we'll lead you in a prayer for just that fresh move of the Spirit in your life. Church, let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for this church. So much more than what the world might think, this is a family. We thank you for every person that is here this morning. And Lord, we know that you brought them here for a purpose, and it was for this. To bring them, in a sense, to their knees, but yes, to their feet. To come to you. To cry out. To humble themselves before you and ask, Lord, save, rescue, redeem, refill, revive. God, I thank you so much that you never have folded arms. Your arms have always been open, whether it's on the cross or whether it's when we come running back to you. Your love and your grace are always there to cover everything we've done. And so we thank you for every person that's here. And we pray now together as a family, fill, bless, draw them closer. God, we can't wait to see what the future holds because of decisions like this of humility where you're promised is for more and more grace. Bless them, we pray. In the name of Jesus. As for those of you that have come forward, just repeat after me. Lord God, I surrender my life. I open my heart. Fill me with grace. Fill me with love. Fill me with your spirit. Help me to live for because you died for me. Thank you, Jesus, for paying my debt. I am yours. In Jesus' name, amen. about this church. This is all about the family of God. And all we want to do is just pray with you guys real quick. If you don't have a Bible, give me a Bible. But if you see Brett standing right there, if you guys wouldn't mind going with him for just a moment, again, we just want to pray with you this time. And church, if you could give them a hand as they go with us.